Most of the fish caught by the Stoneyton fleet is processed right here at Gamberdella Wholesale Seafood. And the talk today is about the change in scup regulations. This is about 120 pounds of scup, almost two thirds of what fishermen are now allowed to haul in a day. 200 pounds. We clean the net, we get 200 pounds. They're so prevalent, we're catching them with six inch mesh, which is unbelievable. Bob Guzzo says he ends up having to throw back perfectly good fish so he doesn't go over the daily catch limits. The DEEP lowered the scup limits on Sunday because the summer quota, which is a lot less than the winter quota, is already at 72%. Back in 2005, the fishery was overfished, and it's been rebuilt since then, so they just want to keep it there. Um, I know the fishermen are frustrated uh, because there is a lot of fish out there. And it's not just scup. Fishermen say sea bass are also thriving. There's so many out there. There's no such thing as catching this, this size fish. Years ago, it's back. Part of the frustration is that uh, scup, uh, as well as summer flounder and sea bass, are are managed by the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council. And Connecticut doesn't have a seat on that council. We're part of the New England Council. The quota for scup is expected to be raised a little next year, but it might not be enough for these fishermen, making waves until federal regulations are changed. They are now counting on Congress to reauthorize the Magnuson-Stevens Fishery Conservation and Management Act with new science to increase quotas. There's no sense. Yeah. You know, and I, don't, I don't know what we're saving it for. These fishermen say the only way to really build up a market for scup is to have a consistent supply and price for restaurants. And right now, with these changing catch limits, that's not happening. In Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.